In this video, we're going to be trying to create a Shopify store, get some sales, launch our first ads via influencers in just 24 hours. So this is going to be a 24-hour dropshipping challenge. Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Vilya Senora and if you're new to my channel, welcome to it. In this video, as briefly mentioned already, we're doing a 24-hour dropshipping challenge. So that means we're going to be setting up our store, finding our products, setting up our ad creatives and also getting our first sales hopefully in just 24 hours. So as you guys can see on my screen, 1230 it is right now. So that means starting from right now till tomorrow. So tomorrow at 1230, that's how long we have time to complete this challenge. I've already went ahead and chosen a specific product. I've been browsing through Instagram beforehand, seeing what other pages tend to promote and which products tend to be received quite well. I wanted to find a product that is already a proven seller, so nothing that is new, but still can appeal to a massive, massive audience. And I've decided to go with this product. So I'm going to be building a store around this product and we'll see how it goes. And for this product, we're also going to be running only influencer campaigns. So I'm going to be hitting up three to five influencer pages, probably some meme pages or couples pages and see how these perform. Now with influencers, it's really hit and miss. Sometimes you can spend hundreds of dollars and not get a single sale, which has happened to me as well before. And I'm pretty sure for you guys as well. So we'll see how this challenge turns out. And as we only have 24 hours, we're going to be relying more on influencers instead of Facebook ads. And in this video, I'm also going to be giving away this store that I'm going to be setting up in just any minute now. And if you guys want to have a chance to win this store and possibly a free consulting call with me regarding the store, how you can structure it and how you should go on further with this store, just like this video, subscribe to my channel and then comment below 24 hour challenge in the comment section. So I'd say let's dive right into the store creation process and I'll be right back when it's done. And we're back. It's been roughly two and a half hours that I spent creating this whole store. And as you guys can see by taking a look at the AliExpress listing right now, this is the product we went with and we're gonna end up promoting this one. 60 reviews, 4.8 stars, and over 4,680 orders. So definitely a proven seller. Obviously, preferably, we would sell this a little bit before Christmas or even during Valentine's Day or before Valentine's Day or any type of occasion like that. However, we're late and too early for both of those things, so we're just gonna run with it. So as you guys can see, branding in the top left corner and the pictures that they have provided aren't very good. So I went ahead and deleted the logo from the top left corner using Photoshop, changed up the images a little bit, and also went ahead and searched for different images that we could use for our site because the AliExpress suppliers didn't really provide too much. Now we're gonna take a look at how I structure the page and here we have it. Because almost all of our traffic, probably all of our traffic will be coming through mobile, it is gonna be important that our site is mobile optimized as we're gonna be running our store and our product through Instagram influencers and meme pages. So right here in the top, free worldwide shipping today only. And in the top left corner, we have a small but simple heading. I created this via Canva, and then I made it on a transparent background using Photoshop, as you have to have Canva Pro to be able to do this. Collier, Quitres, I don't know, it's French. It's just bad French translating into oyster necklace. So that's how I came up with the brand name. Nothing special there. I also managed to secure the domain. So clear who I tourists, I'm actually pronouncing a little bit of Spanish, but .com secured it via the Shopify domain purchasing. And this is the header we went with. This is a free image that is provided via Shopify. And since we're promoting this oyster necklace that is coming from the sea, I think it was quite fitting. The one of a kind oyster necklace from the fresh coasts of France. As you guys can see, we kept going with this light blue sea-ish, sky-ish color throughout the whole webpage. Our unique oyster pearl necklace, the perfect gift for friends, family, and loved ones. Our oyster pearl necklace is a unique and special gift for any occasion or sea lover. The pearls in our necklace are from the coastal regions near Nantes, France, and therefore the brand name Collier Huertas equals oyster necklace in French. So we're gonna be running through this whole France vibe telling our customers that our oysters are freshly from France. I actually Googled this. This is actually an area where they do fish for these oysters, so it is fitting and a little bit of a backstory to our brand and to our company. Right here, another free image from Shopify, just two happy women just showcasing their bond, their friendship, and it's a proven fact from selling for marketing products. If you start off with someone smiling or enjoying something or your product, 
it's definitely gonna help boost your conversion rate and make your customers feel more positive towards your brand and your products. So perfect gift, our Oyster Pearl Necklace has never disappointed in bringing joy to the ones receiving this one of a kind of present. It's an ideal, all year round gift for your best friend, your sister, your mother, or even your girlfriend or wife. An extra special way to show your appreciation. Shop now, another clear CTA right here. And right here we already have product features, so there's gonna be a way for them to purchase. However, we have created a separate product page for this. We also integrated a sales countdown, so last chance for them to get 50% off a little bit of a quantity button. And on the bottom, we have two little guarantees, high quality necklace and 100% satisfaction guarantee. For the photo, we included home, contact us, returns, privacy policy, terms of service. So we've created those four pages separately. By the way, we're using Diff Beautify. This is a fantastic theme that you guys should also use as well. It's free to use. Just check out the link down below. And I prefer using this as it's just the best free theme out there at the moment. And you get lots of different customization options as you guys could just even see on the right hand side right here. Lots of different options to choose from. So we're gonna take a look at the product description, how I've set that up. Now this is gonna be the site that we're gonna be running our traffic to. So obviously our product page so that they have less steps to complete their actual purchase. And we have four simple images. We don't have a lot to choose from. Obviously I would prefer to have better images, but we're just running with what we have and last chance to get 50% off. Right here, a sales count. Hopefully the customer will purchase earlier. Actually, I think I'm gonna change this to a little bit of a shorter time duration, maybe to two hours. Right here, we also have a small little gift showing how the product works, how you can unpack and that there's a pearl inside of it. By the way, it's GIF, not GIF, just a side note. Make a wish, a little bit of a text copy right here. Another small image in between, beautiful coasts, of France, our pearls are farmed from the Atlantic coasts near Nantes, France, and are produced in the regional area for you to enjoy. So a little bit of a picture from the coastal scenery from there and what the package contains right here as well. Also a sticky add to cart on the button. So that's just gonna be easier for our customers to add. And also we're using Luke's reviews. We only have six reviews at the moment as those were the only ones that were usable from the AliExpress listing. However, we're gonna add 10 to 12 more reviews as soon as we've contacted some influencers to add additional social proof. I wanna have at least 15 to 25 reviews. And then that's pretty much it for the store. So real simple store, nothing much to it. I set it up in roughly two and a half hours. So now we're gonna go ahead and contact anywhere between 10 and 30 meme pages, also like couples pages and friendship pages, as I do see them being the most interested in this type of product. And I'll be back as soon as some of them reply. Hopefully they reply soon and I'll see you guys in a bit. By the way, these are the apps that we used. Not a lot of apps that I'm using. However, these are gonna be the most necessary that we have for the store. And that's it for now. And we're back. Not gonna lie, it's been a few hours and you might notice my hair is a little bit different. That's because I just came out of the shower. Because in the meantime, I was at the gym, but don't worry, we contacted the influencers in advance, the meme pages, the theme pages that we wanted to go with. We in general went with pages that had anything to do with relationships, best friends, there's this thing called self-care threads, and we're mainly gonna be appealing to teenage girls. That's gonna be our majority demographic for these necklaces. And for those of you that have worked with influencers or these type of meme pages in the past, you will know and will be familiar with their long response rates. So that means I already contact them in advance, contacted I think anywhere between 30 to 40 pages to see if they would be willing to respond and also promote my product in this instance. So I sent them this message, went through, browsed through some profiles, looked at their engagement rates, took a look if that was fine, and then I hit them up waiting for a response. And from those only, I'd say roughly 20% of them responded, I think that's quite average. And then to actually schedule a post with them was also quite challenging as even though they responded off the bat. They didn't respond later, but in order to get their attention, I do do a little method. I definitely follow them, engage with their previous posts. So maybe their, their top three, five latest posts and also comment, check DM, and that increases your likelihood of getting seen and then actually responding to your DM because they more likely than not get a lot of DMs like this, like mine, and also from other fans, you know, so. And then we obviously try to get the cheapest price possible. So I asked for their rates up front, never suggest a price, always ask them up front. And then you can usually cut off 20 to 25%, but there will be some pages that have no negotiation. And from all the pages that we contacted, sadly we only managed to schedule two posts for today. Um, obviously if we would have a bigger time period, maybe we could have gotten more in the time, but this is the sums that I paid this and this. So we're currently around about 50 euros, so maybe that will end up $60 in total. And I think that's also a sum that the majority of you guys could handle. And in order for us to go profitable, we just need 
three sales and hopefully we can get them one post is already live as it is nine o'clock my time already but that's not a problem as the majority of their demographics is situated in the u.s so that means we have an eight hour advantage so that means right now it is 1 p.m over there so no worries there hopefully the other one will go live sadly the other page hasn't responded to my latest messages but we did go with paypal buyer protection so if we get scammed we get the money back regardless and this is actually going to be the ad that we're going to be rolling with the important thing is going to be that when creating ads for instagram you need to make sure that they are congruent with the theme and they don't throw the followers off too much as a majority of the meme pages or theme pages will not be accepting these type of posts if they're completely off-putting and you clearly can see that this is just a promotional post we want to make them as fitting as possible to the theme of the pages but i do have good news as one of them already did go live we actually managed to get a sale already and it hasn't even been a full hour since the post 16 pounds for this page which equivalents a little bit under than 20 euros for these two posts so that's going to be a story post plus swipe up and also link in bio whatever you want to go with both can work however you have to be careful because with some pages some influencers there's no guarantee that you will actually make sales, but this is the post that we went with. This, obviously the video, and then a swipe because for some reason they couldn't add a caption description, but this worked so far as we did manage already to get a sale. So this post has already paid off, just hopefully the other one will as well. I also added a quantity break using a different app. It's not the ideal look, but I hopefully it does the job, the GIF, etc. And that's the current outlook for now. Now remember with influencers, meme pages, and other posts, it's not always a guarantee that you're gonna make any sales at all, but there also could be a chance that you hit a good one and you are massively profitable. That's the big positive of these type of Instagram shoutouts. However, if you want to have a more reliable sales, definitely go with Facebook ads. And that's it for now. We'll check in back in the morning as soon as the 24 hour challenge is done. Hopefully we've gotten some more sales by then and hopefully the other page that we scheduled our shout out with has actually put up our post and responded. Truly really hope for that and I'll see you back then. And we're back. It's officially the next day and actually the 24 hour time mark has passed. The time right now is 12.35, pretty much 24 hours later after we started this 24 hour challenge. And I have good news and I have bad news. Let's start off with the bad news. Sadly, the other promotion that I scheduled with the other page that cost me a little bit over $30 he didn't put it out that day or she, whatever, whoever is in charge of the page. However, they are putting it out today. Actually, they already put it out live. So sadly, the sales won't count towards the 24 hour challenge. I'll pop back in tomorrow, 24 hours later to actually reveal if, if that shadow gave me any sales. Hopefully it does. I'll definitely let you know how that one went. And as the other promotion that we did manage to schedule is still active for eight hours, I'll also reveal if that one made additional sales tomorrow additionally. Obviously, those numbers don't count towards the official 24 hours, but we're still going to take a look at it. In this case, it's going to be like 48 hours. But right now, we're just going to be taking a look at the statistics we achieved in this 24 hour period. The good news is we did manage to get three orders in total from a 16 British pound shout out, which equivalents roughly 21 US dollars. And from these three sales, we generated $112.79. Actually, two of those orders, they purchased two products, two necklaces with our bulk discount. So that means they got 12% roughly. So a total of $6 discount if they ordered two or more products. So these are currently the statistics for the moment. We have had three sales, one just as the sale went live actually, the other one roughly around midnight, and the other one was around eight in the morning, my time. So right now we've had an average order value of $37.60, which is pretty decent as our product is priced at $24.95 three orders and obviously the majority of our visitors came from mobile as we did promote this product via Instagram. Now obviously the $112.79 aren't pure profit as we did pay 16 pounds which I already mentioned is roughly $21 so we automatically subtract that as the other promotion hasn't been put up I'm not going to be including this into this profit calculation however I will talk about that when I'm back tomorrow when we actually reveal if that promotion made any sales we'll see actually how the other shout out turns out hopefully it does well hopefully the other one also brings in maybe one more sale that would be great so that is basically it for the 24 challenge per se however I will see you guys back tomorrow hopefully the other promotion does well today so see you guys tomorrow
And we're back. It's been another 24 hours. So the sales that we made in the last 24 hours won't count to the 24 hour challenge per se, but I thought it would still be interesting for you guys to see how this particular shout out performed. These are the stats that I have achieved in 24 hours. Not entirely sure how the swipe up story performed, um, but views wise, it's okay. It's not ideal. And since we were working with a bigger account than the previous one, I'm going to spoil it now. We only managed to get one sale which accumulated $42.93. So they did go with a quantity break, so they picked up two, which is good. Even though this account had a lot more followers and in my opinion was promising, we did pay $36 for the shout out, not including the cost of goods that equal up to $10.48 for the two products that they bought and also shipping included, which is gonna be ePacket, plus the shout out with $36. We're at a cost point for $46.48 for this one order plus shout out. So that means we actually went slightly negative. That's the risk you face with working with influencers and these type of theme pages and meme pages. The good thing was that we did get a little bit of a social following through that, a few extra subscribers, a little bit of additional social proof. So there's always a benefit in that. However, looking from the monetary return on investment, this shout out did not perform to our expectations. And as I already mentioned, with yesterday's sales, we managed to achieve $112.79 from that one shout out that cost us $21 and therefore was much more profitable. But looking at the two days in comparison with the two shout outs, I think it's also quite interesting. We accumulated $156 dollars and 71 cents in sales from roughly 47 dollars in paid promotions our cost of goods for all these products combined so that was a total of seven necklaces including shipping which is roughly ten dollars so that gives us a cost of goods point of $37.93. So from the $156.71, we subtract the shout outs coming in at a cost of $47 and also the cost of goods at $37.93, which equals us at a profit of $71.78. Obviously, you'd still have to subtract the payment fees that come in at a percentage of 2.4. So that's not gonna be too major. It's gonna be maybe maximum $2, but this is gonna be our profit that we're looking at. And considering this was like the two day challenge or one day challenge, it is pretty good. Actually, the one day challenge performed better than the two day challenge for us, as we did lose roughly $2.50 with the newest shout out, but I mean, that's not a major deal. And if we look at general statistics, 218 store sessions, so we did get quite a chunk in visitors with the new shout out, it spiked up around here. So we did get a lot of visitors and we also got a total amount of 33 at the cards, 6% reach checkout and four sessions converted. So the conversion rate wasn't very good. However, the average order value, considering our product was only priced at $21.95, maybe if it was at $19.95, it would have resulted in more sales, at first it was $24.95, but I thought that was too high and it was better for the bulk discount. So $39.18 was our average order value from four total orders. But all in all, I would consider this challenge to be a success because if you do consider, we did actually make those $70 in profit in that one single day. And if you could manage to keep this up on a consistent basis, obviously with influencers, meme pages, etc., it's always a hit and miss, but you will grow your social following, which is always a plus, which might result into you getting more sales down the line. Now, if we do calculate the $70 times 30 days, $2,100 in pure profit would be quite nice. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video, the 24 hour challenge slash 48 hour challenge. But also let me know what you guys want me to do with the store. Should I give it away this store or should I actually do like a seven day challenge with this particular store? So that means I schedule one to two promotions with Instagram meme pages and see how far I can actually bring the stores sales wise and then after that give it away let me know what you guys would rather see in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching this video obviously any type of support is much appreciated whether it's like comment or subscription and yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye